Okay, Aries. This is going to be a general reading for you guys for this upcoming week. And I am going to use um, these little message oracle cards here. This week, use these ones. Let's see. If you guys uh, wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I'd really appreciate that. And at the end, if you liked it, if you want to give it a like and a share, that'd be cool. All right. So we have friendship. Having the confidence of a true friend, knowing they will be there for you when you need support, is one of life's most valuable gifts. We need to remember not to take such things for granted, to nurture our friendships and show our willingness to give our friends as much love and support as we hope to receive from them. I am a reliable and generous friend. I accept my friends for who they are and they accept me for who I am. Okay. So I'm gonna use this deck today. So for Aries for this upcoming week, Let's see what we can get. And a fool popped out there. It was meant to be, we'll come back. And a lot of people say the fool represents Aries, so looks like you're showing up right away. And um, each sign has a power color, and yours is red. So if you don't know, now you do. Okay, so far we have <clears throat> um, earth signs, water signs, and air signs. Take a look at the cards here for a minute. So like I said, you have um, earth, water, and air signs here, but um, the signs that stand out the most are Virgo, Pisces, and Scorpio. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna uh, bet here. We're gonna start off here. Actually, let me take another look here. Okay. We start off here with the moon card. I'm just looking at the cards here. Okay. So with the moon card here, um, looks like you should trust your intuition. And if there's any fears, try to let go of your fears. You might even be having, you might be having some psychic abilities or some psychic, actually some psychic visions. Trust those. So just trust your intuition there. Next is a page of pentacles. I 
I kind of want to do it differently. Like I kind of want to show all the cards, you know, up. I think you guys can see them anyways. I don't know if I actually have to show the cards up each or not, but I kind of like to show all the cards and then put them back down so that I can kind of look at them together more instead of kind of doing separate. And I'll figure that one out probably next time though. But here's the page of pentacles. So with the page of pentacles here, it is good news about your money or your career. And it can be promotions or scholarships. Um, it could be, you know, pursuing a new course of study here with something. And next you have the Page of Cups. And this can be about like new romantic encounters it can represent somebody who is sensitive, maybe even a little moody, and might even be a little younger than you. Or maybe they just act, you know, a little bit younger. But it, it can be friendship also, but I think normally it's more romance. But it's news coming in. It's, you know, it could be communication or news coming in about a love relationship. And it could have to do with this area where you're studying something new. You know, if you're, if there's something new that you're studying, it's possible you could meet somebody through that. Next is the Ace of Swords. And this is a card of victory in its progress mental clarity but it's triumph over difficulties so if there's some fears that you have about things looks like no need to fear you know no no need to have that fear because there's going to be victory and there's going to be good news coming in, you know, about your money or your career and possible new relationship also. Okay, next is the Two of Swords. And it looks like there's probably some indecision going on. You could be overanalyzing something. Maybe you have a couple of different choices. But this, this shows that you should uh, try to find some compromise. It, it could be thinking too much. You know, like I said, overanalyzing, maybe thinking too much here. Next is a Five of Swords. And with this card, it's just saying that, you know, be careful. There, it's possible there's somebody around that could have a hidden agenda. It could be a little deceit. You know, maybe somebody's just not being honest with you. But it just says to, to just be careful, that's all. And also, it, it's saying an unwise choice with something. So, maybe there's something you've made an unwise choice about. But either way, just, just be careful. Next is death. Or rebirth which don't take literal but this is endings that lead to new beginnings and it's renewal and change and transformation 
So it's kind of like letting go of what no longer serves you. So when you have an indecision, you might be having uh, some fears or worry about something. This shows to just try to let go of everything that does not serve you. And it leads to new beginnings. And like I say over here, there's good news coming in and something new coming in over here. Next is a three of pentacles. I like this card. This is a card um, shows that you'll be recognized for your talents or your work. And it's being paid well for your craft and having an excellent reputation for what you do. So again, look, try to let go of all these fears because everything seems to come about in your favor here. Next is the Hermit. And with this card, it shows that maybe you've been doing some self-discovery or maybe you need to, maybe you need to go inside, do some self-discovery. Seek, maybe you're seeking solitude. Maybe you need to take a little bit of a break and just try to either find that inner wisdom or use that inner wisdom that you have and just maybe even, it could be even saying that you're a wise mentor. Maybe you're seeking one or that you are one. Becoming, you could be becoming more wise, going inside, self-discovery, taking a little bit of break, becoming a little bit more wise. That's how I'm taking it for you. And I'm going to pull, I like to pull one more card. So, let me see. Use my Chinese tarot deck for this one. Oops, sorry if that was loud. Okay, and it's the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so this card pretty much it sums up things here, as in it shows like you'll you'll be accomplished. And looks like you're a generous person and there's security and abundance and it shows you're very hardworking could be a career this show this is like a career woman but it doesn't have to be a woman it's just a feminine type energy that came out you can you know be male and have feminine type energy and vice versa but you're someone who likes to help others. Okay. All right, Aries. Again, if you like this, if you want to give it a like and a share, I would uh, appreciate that. Also with subscribing to my channel, um, I would appreciate that also. All right, you guys. Thanks a lot.